the movie. Thank you so much. What was it like shooting at this compared to your, the TV work you've done on things like Friday Night Lights? Uh, you know, everything, I, I, every, every movie, every film set's challenging. If, it's, if you're directing a play, it's challenging. If you're making a big, you know, summer blockbuster, it's challenging. Um, you know, I think Battleship's challenges, um, huge, huge visual effect component. And we were using real Navy warships and trying to get them in positions where we could then add visual effects and alien warships and add, you know, humans interacting with CG characters and trying to keep that emotional and real and, and visceral um, was probably the biggest challenge. And for you, you're a big Navy, Navy fan, US uh, Navy. What I was am. like the geekiest, coolest thing for you as a fan of the Navy that you uh, Taking, uh, taking the helm of a Aegis-class destroyer and the captain saying open her up and getting to go full flank, 60 knots, and just drive this, uh, you know, 250-meter warship with 500 people on as fast as I could and just, just kind of rock it out. Was there ever a, the option to do it in 3D or was that something you wanted to avoid completely? 3D gives me a really bad headache and I don't... I don't for me, the the re the reward isn't worth it. Um, I I go to 3D films. I enjoy them. I try and reach out and touch stuff, and I sit back and run, but you know, for a bit, and then I end up getting kind of a throbbing headache, and I end up actually taking the glasses off and rubbing my eyes for half the movie. So, I I personally am not comfortable with 3D. So I never. It didn't occur to me to you know sort of be a driving force in getting the film done in 3D, and the 3D cost so much extra money, the studios weren't begging me to do it. So it, it worked out well, and I have no regrets. Okay, and there's a great story from Top Gun that Tony Scott had to pay 25 grand to get a ship turned around for a specific sunset. I guess in a computer, or you know, these days, you don't have to do that sort of thing anymore. Uh, I don't know that story. I found that if I politely asked a captain to turn the ship, and I said, please, unless they had a real good reason, they'd turn the ship around. The, the, uh, the, the, the cast fantastic in it. What is it you love so much about working with Taylor Kitsch? He's like my little brother, you know, and I have a real good understanding of him. Uh, I, I admire all facets of him, you know. He's a, he's a really strong, honest guy. He's also willing to make a fool out of himself and everything in between. And I, I think that um, that to me is kind of the full experience, and I look for that in an actor. I guess we can expect a battleship too. Would you like to direct it if that happens, and, and is it going to happen? Well, if if you if you speak well of us, there's a good chance, and I hope so. Thank you. Thank Great you. To meet you.